Hi, my name is Belinda and welcome to Belinda's Bobbles. This is a knitting, crochet, crafting, whatever I get up to um, channel. I live in the Fort Worth area of Texas and I'm here with my husband, our grown son, our three chihuahuas, and a cat outside that has adopted me. It believes it belongs to me and has not giving me any choice in the matter. So apparently we have an outside cat too. <laughs> um, this is episode 13, my lucky number. I hope it's yours too. Um, but number 13 has always been my lucky number because you put the one and the three together and you make a B. Just as simple as that is why I always have had it for my lucky number. We have the finishing off of the topping out mount. And I have already drawn the winners and I will be placing that um, further down into the um, video. But I do put places down below here, so markers. So if you're just here for that to check and see if you've won, you're more than welcome to just smooth on over there or you can hang out with me for a little bit first. All right, so what I have is I have finished something that has been, I wouldn't call it the bane of my existence. It's not the bane of my existence. It just, it lingered too long. Um, and I don't know why, because I really wanted this object. Uh, what I have, let's see if I can do this without knocking everything else over is I have finished my Christmas in July cast on from last year, which is a litmus cowl, but I do my litmus cowls just a little bit different. It is a free pattern on Ravelry, and it is by, I had it all here in front of me, Amy Florence Edwards Green. And I love the fact that there's no ends to weave in other than the very last one. Everything else is knotted on the inside. The colors I have used here is Cascade Yarn Heritage Sock for the gray. And then the rest of these are from Charming Use. Halloween uh, minis from I think two years ago. They were the the not no master minis, no master minis, and they are just so much fun. All these different textures and colors. Now I only did the solids in here once. I decided not to put these two back in. For the other side because I just love the way that these went together. And how I do mine differently is I do, it's, um, the free pattern has you cast on a certain number of stitches. I'm not going to say just in case she ever makes this not free, but I cast on 150 stitches and then I don't do it as long as she does. I have all of this over in my Ravelry. Uh, let's see. It ended up being 236 grams total. I took it to the store with me and um, weighed it. So I did find that out. And I have 16 rows of gray and 16 rows of the stripes. And the way I did mine is the main color or the gray um, is 10 rows and then the advent stripe these are 16 rows and let me show you how I like to wear it I'm going to have to take the microphone off for a second Okay, so this is perfect for me to just wear over my shoulders. Get a little closer here. And 
it's just the perfect amount but I can still double it up around my neck. <laughs> okay, put myself back together there. Here, I've got my brand new haircut and I'm fluffing it all over the place. This was a treat for me because not just because I don't usually get my hair cut professionally. I usually do it myself. And this was probably the first time I've gotten a professional haircut in about five years. I'm sure it shows, but <laughs> oh well. <laughs> okay. So here we go. And that was part my part of the topping off mal so now i'm doing it topping off topping out mandy's gotten me so mixed up myself i don't know if i'm coming or going <laughs> so it is the topping out mal i'm the one that named it i should know this okay so the other finished object that i have Is also from the topping out mail and it's the vanilla my vanilla socks but it's unicorn vomit vanilla socks <laughs> and can you tell what I did wrong <laughs> yes from one sock to the next I forgot how I cast it on. So I have a twisted rib and a regular rib. <laughs> it's just me. And yes, I've already worn them if you're seeing the fuzzies here. I've already worn them once. I had to. I just had to. I do love these. Now this is the Unicorn Vomit um, yarn from Hank Me Home Tonight that is sold at on the lamb yarn shop okay so those are my two finished objects i'm trying to go through here a little bit fast because we have the drawings at the end and i know that's what you're really really wanting to see but since i did get those two done so i ended up finishing four things i think it was for the topping out now so those were my four things so of course what did I do <laughs> I had to start something new okay so for new construction I have a one of them is crocheted and it's part of the make nine so I'm having to finally I'm dipping in to the make nine items and since it is crocheted I don't have all of the stuff attached but I have it in my Yarndale bag that I got through a um, swap with Alex from My Yarny Corner. Okay, so here is, which is the front? Yeah, this is the front. Here is the start of Down the Rabbit Hole Shawl. This is by Agneta. Noclier. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. It's a paid for pattern. It is crocheted and it is it is fun. There's and look at all you know she has a plan for all these ends down here. And it's not for me having to weave them all in. <laughs> but I can't give that out because that is part of her pattern. But here's the We've, I've just done a switch in color and the yarns that I am using let me get that information for you here I'm using a nomad ivory or just a nomad undyed for the main color
and then for my two accent colors I have Bashful Armadillo and this is the Palo Duro Canyon okay if you're not familiar with the Palo Duro Canyon it's outside of Amarillo Texas and you may have seen it and just don't realize it because that is where they filmed uh, the scenes from Indiana Jones I can't remember which one it is is it number three anyways it's where him and his dad are going through the canyon that was actually filmed at the Paladura Canyon so you may have seen Paladura Canyon and not realized it so that is one of the colors then the other one is beautiful purple this is the darker side of pretty from Arkansas Yarn Company and this is called the Royal We in her signature plush and the darker side of pretty I believe is dyed by her daughter or some of the other girls in the, in this shop and it's just I just thought it was it went so well with my palette there at Canyon <laughs> okay so what did I do with it okay and as far as the hook that I am using is in here somewhere here we go since I am crocheting which is some this is not something I would have ever done in the past I am crocheting with sock weight yarn <laughs> So I am using my four millimeter size USG hook and I know it's got some bad spaces on it and everything I've kind of worn it down a little bit but this is from uh, Hobby Lobby they're plastic ergonomic and I really love these they're like three dollars a piece and they're just they've become my favorite crochet hooks so this is just going to keep going and then it has a gorgeous gorgeous edging on it I've got my loop being held here by my little B progress keeper from charmed and dangerous okay let me put this up before I lose anything out of it <laughs> and what else did I get into what else am I likely to get into since I haven't cast on another set of socks yet and there's a reason for that but I did just dropped part of what I had in my hand I did cast on another summer secret crop by Jessie May designs you guys know this is my favorite thing to wear now I have two this is number three and I'm already in my second skein <laughs> I'm doing a DK version but I love how the colors are coming up through there and this is Queensland collection Brighton Beach it's considered a number two it's 45% linen 35% cotton 20% acrylic 
and the yarn goes very thick to thin, I guess because of the way it's wrapped around the cotton. So I was going to make it with just not holding double. But whenever I actually did a swatch, yes, I did a swatch, which is what's on the floor right now. Hold on just a second. Let me get this. So I got this. I made the swatch. I love the color of this yarn in the swatch. It looks very different, but it is so see-through. I mean, once you double it up, it looks very different. This is a much pinkier redder than what this is because it's got so much of the blue going through it. But I like the thickness. And this is how I made my first um, Secret Summer crop was out of the same yarn, just with a different color. And it's one of my favorite things in the world to wear. It's so comfortable, it's so cool, and it's just, it's beautiful. So, I am working my way through it, and I'm hoping to have it ready and to be able to wear it to the North Texas Yarn Crawl, which is coming in a couple of weeks. It's just a few weeks away. So we'll talk about that at the end. Okay. Well, for In the Works, I really don't have anything because I was working away so diligently on my litmus cowl. I didn't get a lot of anything else done. I've worked a little bit on Seaver's um, scarf, but not enough to really show you. And any of the other projects that I had been working on, there just wasn't enough done on them for me to really show them to you even. So instead, Well, before doing editing, we're only at about 18 minutes. So I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> so what I'm going to do here is I am going to put the footage of me drawing the names right here. Hi, welcome to the celebration for the end of the Topping Out Mal. I did record this a little earlier because I didn't know how long or how I was going to have to splice this together uh, to get the winners put and checked and everything. So I apologize if this seems a little strange, but I am going to be showing this video. I'm just going to have to splice it together a little bit um, for time. <laughs> because, let, now let's finish this topping off Mal the way it should be. Move the B. Topping out in construction terms is putting the last beam on or the last brick or whatever it is on your project. So we are putting our last one on the house over here. It is topped out and it is now time to draw prizes. And congratulations, everybody, and thank you so much for participating in this make-along. It was my first make-along to do. Mandy has been great holding my hand and helping me along the way. And I also want to um, thank Caroline with Aria Bark uh, Podcast because she has donated some prizes. So as a total of prizes, I have nine prizes to draw today. And there were 129 entries into um, the finished object thread. So there's the chances of some of y'all may win more than one prize. You may <laughs> not win any. Unfortunately, that seems to be the way it is for me for make-alongs these days. But um, I am so excited that you're here with me. So let's get going. All right, so the first prize that we're going to be drawing for is a mouse pouch. The mouse, 
This is still all put together. This is what it looks like. It is a leather pouch made by Mandy's husband for Mouse's Makes Podcast and Mouse Witch Yarn. This is what it looks like undone. I just did not want to open yours up. So, let's get on with it. So, I've entered in number two because the first post was Mandy's to 130. And let's spin. Are you able to see that? All right, the first winner is number 92. All right, so number 92 is Knitting Bandit number one. Knitting Bandit number one, this was um, for a flax for six to 12 month old for her granddaughter. So Knitting Bandit number one, if you could please get in contact with me at um, Belinda's Bobbles, um, Let's try that again. <laughs> if you could please get in touch with me at Belinda's Bobbles at gmail.com or on Instagram, also Belinda's Bobbles, to give me your address so I can send out your prize. Now, no one will be contacting you direct. You must contact us. The prizes that I'm showing you right here, these you'll contact me for, and then I will give you information for those that need to contact someone else for their prize. All right, so let's see what is next. Okay, so the second prize is going to be for this It's Not Hoarding If It's Yarn Bag. It is full of good little goodies, including a yarn holder so that you can put your um, skein of yarn if you're working on socks or a hat or something on your wrist and go for it. There are some other goodies in here as well. Scissors, um, Notions tin, all sorts of little things. There may not be yarn in this one, but there's plenty of stuff to go with your stash. So let's see who's going to win this. So I've taken number 92 out, but still going from number 2 to 130 otherwise. Who's it going to be? Number 125. Okay, so number 125 is Sampler Gal. I haven't asked for permission to show everybody's items, so I'm not going to show them on here, but you can go over onto the Ravelry thread and look these up. So Sampler Gal made a knitted t-shirt. And if she could please get in touch with me, either on my email address or through Instagram are the best places, as I've said. Okay, so let's see who's next. Okay, so next we are drawing for my first skein of yarn, Dreams in Blue. And it comes out more of a true blue on the screen. It's actually more of a greenish turquoise. So just be aware. You also get your choice of a shawl cuff. These were also made by Mandy's husband and he donated um, these one for me, one for you. So you can either have the smooth or the braided one. Whoever wins this needs to let me know what your preference is and I will keep the other. So let's see who is winning this. Number 17. 
Okay, number 17 is sheep and woolly. And this is another flax for a grandchild. I love that. Okay, Cindy, if you could please contact me. And I will let me know which of the um, shawl cuffs you would like. And then I will get your prize out to you. Okay. So those are those three prizes. Please contact if you're the winner. Please contact me um, at Belinda's Bobbles at gmail.com or on Instagram. And now that's not all. That is not all. Next, we're going to be um, pulling some prizes that um, Caroline with Aria Bark Podcast has donated three sets of stitch markers. These are beaded stitch markers. They're gorgeous. Um, I'll put some pictures up here. And she has made some that are a mouse and a bee. So the mouse for Mandy, and the bee for me, as far as representing our um, web, our um, podcast, and this make along. And so she has donated three sets of these. So let's pull for the first one set. All right, number 91. Post number 91 is Fragile Joski. That's Fragile Joski. Please contact Caroline at Aria Bark. I'll put the email address, address on here and let her know that you won. Now, if there are some other um, of her uh, stitch markers that you would prefer besides the mouse and the um, bee, these are made to order, so you are welcome to discuss it with her. You won't hurt our feelings. Uh, I just thought it was kind of cool if it would have the bee and the mouse, but I'll leave that up to y'all. And we are going to um, spin again for another set of the Aria Bark stitch markers mm. or progress keepers. Okay, number 110 is Brenna EBL. Brenna EBL, please contact Caroline at the Aria Bark podcast. so that she can get your stitch markers to you. One more set of stitch markers. Wasn't Caroline so generous doing three of these? These are handmade to order again, so it is a couple of weeks out once you contact her. Okay, number 21 is Leica C66. So I'm not sure if it's Leica 66 or Leica C66. <laughs> Amanda, you have won. If you could please contact Caroline at Aria Bark Podcast for your amazing stitch markers. I am jealous of them, they're gorgeous. Okay, so now we are on, we still have three more prizes to draw. And these three prizes are coming from Mandy at um, Mouse's Makes Podcast with the Mouse Witch Yarn. And what she has donated is she has donated um, skeins of her Mouse Witch Yarn, uh, yarn, <laughs> and also uh, some minis. So let's start out with one skein 
of Mouse Witch Yarn. She has said it would be your choice. So let's see who is going to win one skein of Mouse Witch Yarn. Number 41. <laughs> okay, post number 41 was deleted um, by the poster. So we're going to draw again. Okay, so again, this is for one skein of Mouse Witch yarn. Number 70. Number 70. This is Knitting Bandit 1. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and this is for a um, shawl that she made. Lorna, you have, also, you have won one skein of Mandy's Mouse Witch Yarn. So please get in contact with her. You can look over on her Kofi shop to see what um, yarns are available or to discuss with her. Okay, next we are drawing for two skeins. Yes, you heard me right. Two skein of mouse witch yarn. So, you ready? There you go. Okay. This is also Fragile Josky. Fragile Josky, you have also won two skeins of Mandy's Mouse Witch yarn. Please contact her to let her know which ones you would like. Okay, so we have one more prize to draw. And this prize is the April Minis from Mouse Witch Yarn for her Mystery Mini Club. So, let's see who is winning this. Okay, so 126 is Sampler Gal. So Karen, you have also won the minis from Mouse Witch Yarn. So please get in touch with Mandy for those uh, for that prize. All right, so. <laughs> With multiple entries, there's multiple chances. So we did end up with a couple of people that won multiple prizes. But I am so excited for all of you. Thank you so much for participating. And I'm going to switch you back to future me. Okay, I'm back. Congratulations again to all the winners. I'm so excited that you joined us for the um, Topping Out Mal. And... I had to double check myself if I was saying it correctly. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for the Topping Out Mal. I do want to make this a yearly thing. Um, whether I'm doing it on my own or with others, I don't know what will happen in the future. Um, but I had a great time. Mandy has been so great at holding my hand and getting me started over in Ravelry for something like this that I'm excited for the future. So just because you didn't win here doesn't mean there's nothing coming up down the pipe because this month here in April, because today is April 1st, um, April Fool's Day, uh, this month is going to be my podcast anniversary and it happens in the middle of the yarn crawl. You know, I am crazy about our North Texas yarn crawl. 
that's where I started my podcast at. And so I'm excited that it's going to be coming around for the anniversaries. So what I am doing for the anniversary is during the um during all of the yarn crawl madness and everything, um, I will be announcing how to enter <laughs> for, <laughs> for that anniversary drawing. And it will be drawn from YouTube. Because that's what we're um, having the anniversary for is YouTube. Okay, so... What do I got next? I have confessions. Can you see my little bit of a pile over there? It really isn't as bad as it looks. Because Heather it on the lamb was making room for some new yarns. So she had her Queensland collection down to 70% off. So, I may have gotten a few things. First off, Queensland Collection Rainbow Beach Pure Australian Superwash Wool. This is 100% wool. Number two, fine. It's in the color violet. And that beautiful purple and with them being 70% off I got six skeins so I have sweaters quantity just don't know what I'm going to what sweater I'm going to do yet but I do have sweaters quantity then I also got the Queensland collection coastal cotton and this particular one is a number four so it's a thicker cotton it is in color chili so it is this beautiful red it has a little bit of an orange tint to it uh, but I wanted this one in a thicker cotton because I've bought enough over there that I have picked out a dress pattern and I'm going to attempt don't know how long it will take me but I'm going to attempt to knit a summer dress out of cotton okay then there's one other thing over here And this is more of the Queensland collection Brighton Beach Cotton Linen Blend, which is what I have made my secret summer crop out of. This is Manta Ray. Look at all those great colors in it. And I have gotten one, two, three cakes of the manta ray and these along with another one of these goodie bags will be the drawing for the an first anniversary for Belinda's Bobbles so that gives you a little bit of a peek of what's coming I do love this linen and cotton. It's a, it's a little stiff when you're first working with it, but after you wash it, it is so soft and drapey and so cool and comfortable. It's great for summer. Okay, so I have that coming down the pike. I've got YouTube, uh, or not, you know, the YouTube anniversary. I've got um, yarn crawl. Here in the Metroplex. What else do I have? I also have a video from uh, when we went to Missouri. 
in February, I had lost my SD card, my micro SD card that had all my footage on it. And I found it today. So I'm going to be getting that video up and um, put together and load it up this month also. So there's plenty of things coming for the month of April. Uh, blue bonnets are out there. I just haven't gotten into any yet. And, oh, I don't know. There's no telling what all we'll get into. You know me, there's always something happening. Um, even if it's just me sitting here looking through stuff. There's always something going on. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, don't forget for the winners to contact either myself, Mandy, or Caroline, depending on what you won. And ah, have a wonderful start to your spring. And I will see you soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You want to know what's happening next, right? And I will see you on the road for the North Texas Yarn Crawl.